All right, welcome folks to uh, another food trying video here, kind of adventurous thing. Uh, I don't know. In going in line with all of our food adventure videos where I had my friend Bip try durian ice cream, I had my friend Dwayne try all kinds of bacon infused items at McDonald's, I thought um, I'll go and continue on with trying strange foods, but this time I'm going to do it because I actually am curious about this food, Vegemite. It's this wonderful spread uh, made of, it has a lot of B vitamins and it's made of brewer's yeast and barley and wheat and all kinds of weird things and spices, but it's popular in Australia and in Australia the majority, from what I understand, of people just absolutely love this and use it as a spread on toast and all kinds of other foods. Um, but for the most part, visitors or people who don't live in Australia have a very differing opinion of it, a very strong opinion that it tastes terrible and that they don't like it. I read online that a description of what it tastes like is a mixture of soy sauce and beer. It doesn't sound like something I would want to put on a piece of toast, but the Australians love it, and two of my favorite wrestlers in WWE, the Iconics, Iconics, uh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce both swear by it, and they were talking uh, very lovingly about it on a podcast that I was watching and listening to, and um, they explained that the problem that people have is that they use it incorrectly, and that they spread it on really thick, like how you put on uh, jam or jelly on your toast, and they said, no, no, you gotta put a amount just to get the flavors because it's a very strong flavor so I thought I would do it the way that I was told by these uh, authentic Australians how to eat Vegemite so that I could have a true honest reaction to it so um, I got myself a loaf of bread from the local grocery store and I went and chose the Sarah Lee Artesian Bakery Brown Bread this is something that I chose because one, it looked fancy because the packaging was like frosted, which I don't know, sounds like a, a very high end in quality. And also it was described that it was made with a touch of honey and olive oil and sea salt and it was golden wheat. And so um, I also was impressed with how thick these pieces of bread were. And I thought that uh, this little white um, covering and frosting on it would mean that it's also fancy so I don't know they said to toast the bread um, put butter on it and then again a scant amount of Vegemite and so I didn't have a toaster so I went on Facebook and I asked my friends if any of them had a toaster that I can borrow and my friends Kyoki and Ashley came through in the clutch and provided me with this wonderful continental brand toaster Kyoki told me that they never use it anymore. So I just hope that we don't burn the office down. Shameless plug while we wait for the toast. If you haven't followed me on Facebook or Instagram, please do. Um, that's where I notify people about what episodes uh, I'm posting, but also all the other things that I'm doing, including, and I'm doing a terrible job of cross-promoting my, my endeavors and projects, but uh, I also have a podcast that I do every week. It's called Hanging Out with Nolan Hong, and you can catch it on all of the podcast mediums. So you can catch it on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, any of those um, it's available on. Um, and Or you can search for it online. Uh, just look Hanging Out with Nolan Hong. We have everyone from celebrities to musicians to artists to teachers to scientists, professionals. Uh, literally tons and tons of different people and we just have them share their story and we just hang out and it's really fun inspiring and entertaining so we're uh, coming up on almost a hundred episodes so a lot of catching up for you to do so go ahead and check that out uh, oh, <laughs> oh I was not expecting that got myself some country crock spread which I know technically isn't butter but it was on sale so um, my Chinese side said, go with what's on sale. What I will do first actually, is I'm going to cut this in half and I will do, I have to do a control. This is a very scientific experience. So I gotta taste the bread before I put the Vegemite on it, just so that I know it's not the bread that tastes whatever it tastes like. I just, you get it, right? Okay. It tastes like bread, it tastes good and um, I don't see any problems with it so far. Sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm all kinds of wrong and all kinds of conflict right now. I mean, look, I got a 
Biggie Smalls t-shirt while wearing Tupac socks. I mean, what's going on in this brain? Who knows? It's all kind of chaos and conflict. But we're here to try the Vegemite. And I want to so badly do this all in an Australian accent. But for fear of offending all Australians and those who know them, I will not do that. I will refrain from using generic Australian terms such as shrimp on the barbie and knife that's not a knife and fosters Australian for beer all that stuff not gonna use it but just know I really want to okay so they said to put a scant amount of Vegemite which I should have shown you before I did this but if you look at it it's like a solid gelatinous block of what looks like chocolate whoa <laughs> I did not expect to smell that. Um, whew. It smells like um, like soy sauce and chocolate almost. I don't know. Is that such a thing? It's, it's, it's a very strong odor in the sense of it smells salty, if that makes any sense. You know what it smells like? Have you ever had those combat roach traps? The ones with plastic? roach traps that inside there's like a little it actually kind of looks like this um, it's like some kind of serum or uh, poison that will kill not only the roach but if they take it back to their nest it kills the nest too you ever smell those traps especially when you open up the box and open up the sealed package Whew, this aroma fills the air this smells like a combat roach trap i don't know uh, what if that bodes well for me and my digestive system. I am going to spread a scant amount of Vegemite on the toast. You're gonna be like, there's not enough Vegemite on there. They said a scant amount, so don't judge. I'm putting on a scant amount. So here is my first test of Vegemite scantily spread on this buttered toast. Ha! <laughs> Oh my god! Ah, wow! Ugh. Ah, it, it literally tastes like someone dunked a piece of toast in old soy sauce. Like, where the soy sauce was so old it just fermented and, and, and solidified into a spreadable substance. I don't know why anyone would want to taste this and, and, and think that it's great. I can see them tolerating it maybe, but not liking it. Maybe that was too much. Maybe my version of scant was even still too aggressive. So I will, ugh, my stomach is starting to feel weird now. I will spread it lightly like ever so lightly. So look at that. That's as scant as I can get. And can't believe I'm gonna do this again, but I will do it. Okay, you know what? It does not make me gag, and it was not nearly as bad as that first time. But it still is not good. Like I don't wanna eat this again. Now, I would be remiss, if that is the correct usage of the word, if I didn't try Vegemite solo on itself without the bread and stuff, just so that I know truly what it tastes like. <sighs> Vegemite on its own. <laughs> that is 10 times worse than I could have imagined. Ah, man. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I just did. Oh my God. Originally, I was gonna say that it kind of tasted like, uh, you ever make that uh, powdered um, great brown gravy where you mix the powder into a saucepan with water and you heat it up and it makes brown gravy, but if you heat it too, too high of a heat and for too long, it starts to curdle and you'll get like giant um, clumps of concentrated 
brown gravy. When you have that uh, uh, like clump of, of curdled brown gravy and you eat it and it's like this super concentrated salty uh, blast of gravy. I originally was going to say that that's similar to this. But the problem with that is it's still gravy and it's still good. Like, but when I try this solo, it's got this real bitter, super salty taste. Like, oh, like I, the only way I can describe it is like old shoyu that is mixed in with a combat roach trap um, and fermented over 10 years. That's pretty much what, what I would say this tastes like. To the Iconics and to all of Australia, I apologize. I really went into this with an open heart and I was hoping to like it a lot. I don't, I can't lie. I cannot lie to the people. On behalf of my friend Bip for going over to Australia and picking up this Vegemite for me. Thank you, my friend. Um, to my friends, Ashley and Kyoki for donating this uh, potential fire hazard death trap box of a toaster. Uh, thank you, you made everything possible with your toaster. I think what we all can learn from this wonderful adventure is that uh, Sarah Lee's Artesian Bakery Brown Golden Wheat Bread is very good bread. And if you are in the market for a new loaf of bread, you might want to try this out. Uh, sans the Vegemite. Unless you, of course, are from Australia and you love it, then by all means, this might be a great addition to your Vegemite collection, um, but please do not bring this to a potluck that I'll be attending anytime soon. All right, thanks for hanging out with me on this. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And uh, if you have any comments, would like me to try anything else, have uh, experiences with Vegemite that you'd like to share or disagree with me and my assessment of Vegemite, please leave some comments below and I'll catch you on another video. All right, thanks. Bye. Ah. Ah, la, la, la. Ah. I can't get this taste off of my tongue. Ah. Vegemite. Ah. <laughs>